Hi, and welcome to Fabric Bias. It is Thursday, August 8th, 2024, and I'm going to go off the list again because this weekend I got a couple pillows, and then I also got this extra foam to go with it because I thought that I wanted it um, to be a little bit more dense. Turned out I was wrong. When I stuffed one of these into the pillow, it was way too dense. So rather than waste this foam, I've decided I'm going to create another pillow. Problem is, this stuff expands quite a bit. And I don't actually know what size to make. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to make my pillow. I'm going to fill it with this. And I'm going to take some of the extra foam out of the pillow that's way too thick and use it for this as well. And maybe have to use some other fill in there. Because what I've opted to do, since I don't know really what size, um, I've opted to create a pillow that is almost pillow size. So according to the internet, a standard pillow is 20 by 26. So I've opted to make my cut 20 inches, which will make it slightly narrower than that because I didn't account for seam allowances, which I did on purpose. So it's going to be a little bit narrower than the 20 inches. And then I went randomly, I went, okay, I'll just go this length because <laughs> I have no idea. So instead of 26, this turns out I, my cut is 17 and a half. And that's because I'm going to also put in a zipper here so that I can stuff the foam in. And that's the way the other one came. So I thought, okay, I'm going to put a zipper on it. Um, I did want to use white, um, but I don't have any solid white. So I'm actually going to take, and this is pretty nice, but I'm going to take this interior of this fabric and use it as the exterior. So we'll see how it goes. I have, I know I'm going to use French seams. Haven't decided what order I'm going to do it in. I am going to use some batting to quilt it. Um, but beyond that, I really don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to be hoping it works out the whole way. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, I just finished doing the quilting of the batting, which I think you could probably see better on this side here. And what I did, um, I was going to go one inch wide, kind of, try to copy what's on the actual commercial pillow, although they went both ways. They went this way and this way. I'm not gonna do that. Um, but I went one inch wide. And what I did was some time ago, I don't know when, unfortunately, so I can't credit the person, um, but I saw a video where someone had created a jig above the presser foot so that they could kind of have a guide. And so that's what I did. I had this paper clip already open because I was using it to fix my printer, which I'm done with. And so I just taped it up here. I was getting ready to pull it off, so it's not quite in the right spot. But I'm at the one inch part here off my, based off my measurement on my foot. And I just used that and fed the fabric underneath it. And, and I taped in a little bit more blue down here because I was afraid it would be hard to see the, the paper clip, the silver. Um, but it worked out really well, I think. I think it came out um, pretty even on that. So happy with that. So now I'm going to go ahead and add, I hope, um, I'm, I think this is the right step, is to add the print, uh, the um, zipper first. So I've got my zipper taped in place. I'm going to go sew it on, and I'm going to zigzag the edge here. Um, I've cut away the batting away from it, just to keep it from being too bulky right there. But I'm going to go ahead and sew it on with a straight stitch, and then I'm going to zigzag the edge um, so that my raw fin fabric is, um, my raw ends are protected. So I have my zipper in place and I'm actually not going to top stitch here, which I would normally do. What I've done instead is I put the zipper on and then I flipped it and laid it, pressed it flat against my fabric and I zigzagged this side here and that's to cover up my raw edges so they're not exposed here. And I think that's sufficient enough to keep my zipper from getting snagged in this because it's going to hold that back and um, so the top stitch isn't necessary because the zipper isn't going to get stuck in that and I don't need it to look really pretty because it's going inside of a pillowcase. Also I opted not to use a lining fabric. Not sure that was the greatest choice ever but um, I've decided just to go ahead with the batting on the back and I'm going to be stuffing this with that foam. So I think I'm not going to put... E. 
All right, I'm going to go decide whether or not I want to put another piece on because I can still add it at this point. Yeah, let me go think about that. All right, I'll be back. So here it is finished. I did opt to go ahead and put the lining in, which meant I didn't need to do the French seams, which would have been fine. Um, but I just finished it off like I would a, a zippered pouch on that. And it also meant I had to go back and top stitch um, here because otherwise the lining then might have gotten caught in the zipper. So it's all done. Everything's closed up. I just need to start putting the foam in it. And what I've decided is if it is too big for as much foam as I have from here and from the other pillow, um, then what I'm going to do is take this top part and tuck it under. So right now it's like this and everything goes in here. And then depending on how much space I need, I can just take this and inset my zipper in like this for a portion of it. And then I'm going to go get my um, scrap batting to fill in some of that as well. So, all right, time to see. I'm going to go get that. done uh, let me show you this was the pillow I stole some of the stuffing out of because I had overstuffed it with the uh, other one of these and I like it it's much uh, much better um, density than the, than before because it was West just way too much before on that and so happy with that and happy with this and so I did one whole one of these tubes and then I took some out of here and then because I just have a ton of batting shreds that I wanted to actually get rid of I stuffed some of that in there just to get rid of it as well on that so it is the same width as this one here so it will fit a pillowcase it will just be floppy on the end because it's going to be too long and then eventually maybe I'll put it on my list to make some more shorter pillowcases for it or maybe just a pillow cover huh so there it is. I hope you like it. I like it. Um, I hope that wherever and whenever you're at, you're having a great time. And thanks for watching.